my duck. Ugh. I think it's time to upgrade these lights to LEDs. What do you think, huh? Do you think I should upgrade the interior lights to LEDs? Let me know in the comments below. Big bump. Oh, so many bumps here in Staten Island. It is ridiculous. Ooh, parking spot, baby. So, see guys, look, I'm gonna put the light on. Oh, don't mind the mess in my car. My shifter, that's the main thing. That's the important thing. Hold on, gotta fix a few things. Okay, right. my shifter, right? It's broken. Because right now it's neutral. Push to the left, it stays left. I gotta force it to the right, and it stays right. Now she goes into gear, clutch down. She goes into gear fine, right? But it's just really, really tight. So today, literally today, when I got home from work, um, my buddy Chris from Your Compulsion, he's always got my back. He's always there for me. A huge thank you to him. He. Um, he ordered uh, my new shifter cables from from Fiat Mopar. <laughs> um, I don't know. I spoke to, I spoke to him about a week ago. He says got it done. Boom, sent to my house. Now I just got to bring it to my mechanic to get it installed, and that's that. Uh, because I cannot drive to Tennessee with the uh, shifter like that. That is not safe. It's extremely dangerous, and it could potentially hurt the transmission. You know, so I don't want any of that to happen. I want this to be fixed ASAP. Again, huge shout out to Chris. You're the man. Uncle Chris, I love you, buddy. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna hit the gym, get some gains. You know, I got a, I'm 165 pounds now. I, I wanna get up to 170, that's my main goal. All right, guys, so I'll keep you updated on the shifter. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty, uh, pretty fun. But a few other things. So my main thing is, one, my shifter, two, I got to uh, fix my front spoiler, it's got a nice crack on the bottom of it, so I'm going to fix that myself. Uh, also my skid plate is rattling, I bottomed out a few times over here in Staten Island, and uh, I got to fix that. I think it's like maybe a bolt or two that's either loose or maybe a bolt is missing, maybe all the bolts are missing, <laughs> right? Um, but I also have a surprise for you. You guys, I have something new coming to the car. You don't know what it is. I'm not gonna tell you. You just have to wait to find out. That's it. Tomorrow I'm ordering it, but I'm not gonna show you what it is until my shifter is fully fixed. Well, my shifter cables, links, and everything. Uh, but yeah. So if you wanna, uh, if you wanna know what they are, you have to wait and you have to just wait to find out. That's all. Woo! What's up, guys? I just came back from the gym and my shoulders are killing me. I can't even hold up my freaking GoPro right now. <laughs> All right, so let's start this baby up, right? Boost gauge. Guys, leave it in the comments below. What kind of boost gauge do you have and why did you choose that one? I wanna know. Tell me, let me know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, all right. Oh my god, can I even get my seatbelt on? Oh my god, I can't even. Ow. Alright. 
All right, seatbelts on. Let's open up the windows. It's beautiful outside, 65 degrees. You break down. Let's rock and roll, baby. Oh, almost forgot. Fogs. Nice. Bye-bye, Planet Fitness. See you tomorrow. I need to go to Models because my gloves are ripped. So I need new gloves. Maybe I'll just take this off for Christmas. I don't know. All right. Wow, it did not bottom out. All right, so right now I have my front chin off because I cracked it. Usually I scrape coming out of here, even when I'm going really, really slow and when I'm on an angle. But this time, because I have no chin, I did not scrape at all. Wow, what a difference. I mean, I do miss my front chin spoiler and I can't wait to get it back on because my car looks completely naked without it. But damn, it feels good not bottoming out for once. I'll tell you that. Uh, right now, I'm on New F Springs. I love them because one, they're not uh, they're not springs that lower your car like completely. Like it doesn't make your car like completely flat. Uh, like it doesn't slam slam your car. But it's also not like a mile drop. It's like right above the iBox Sport lines. You guys can't see that, but the license plate on this BMW X6 M package says 8A VET. 8A VET. I guess it's pretty fast. It's a big truck. Checks 